Oh, yeah. Folks, it's Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. again with a tri generational campaign. Okay. Uh, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. Uh, hopefully, you will enjoy this as little as they do because literally zero prep, no prep at all. I'm pulling cards out. Uh, we've got a few ideas for them. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us on Discord, we got that. If you want cool stuff to buy, because, uh, you know, the holidays are coming up, we got that. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on one of our one-shots, December, all Saturdays long, uh, all one-shots, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you in one of those games. Uh, folks, we'll go ahead and give you a recap here shortly, but first we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for Dice that failed to kill the campaigners last night. And of course, oddfishgames.com, oddfishgames.com. A week from today, they will be running How to RPG with Your Cat, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is free, but you do have to sign up, so check our Twitter page. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to some of the people that I'm going to try and kill today. Uh, first off, uh, uh, the elder of the clan, the elder statesman, he who is without age. I am uh, Frank Sr. I'm playing Leaf the Tired Old Sane Druid who ain't afraid of no werewolf hunter. Oh, that's because you aren't a werewolf. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, I could be. <laughs> we go from the eldest to the youngest. For little Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Man Fang. A oh, God, my brain is everywhere. A dig. No, no, it's not. No, it is not. Because <laughs> I don't have one. Sorry. It's okay, son. I know. You're, you're, you're a dragonborn fighter. Yeah. And a diplomat extraordinaire. <laughs> and a medic. And a medic. And medic. That's true. Uh, <laughs> middle Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh. I am a half orc. Hi, my Ho name is Ted. is half bard and half sorcerer. Hi, my name is Ted. I am the I'm dragon 45. reborn, and I like cheese. Oh, Aren't you a werewolf? Not a werewolf. Were rat. Were rat. Me? No. no. I like something. And I got fleas. You like cheese? Okay. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Copious Full Bitters the Third, a gnomish. Uh, I'm not sure what he is anymore. He's hairless. <laughs> He's hairless. Actually, you're starting to get fuzzy now. <laughs> yeah, starting to itch a lot. Um, <laughs> captain of the intrepid uh, Voyager stolen ship, fighting for his command because Haggis is undermining him at every turn. But I am not a were rat. I can say that for sure. That is true. Uh, and last, but certainly not least, our last sane werewolf hunter. I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Rogue, the last sane werewolf hunter. I need to change that to were rat hunter. I've got my one good eye on Robert. And you're sweating profusely, are you not? Yes, both in real life and in game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, folks, these guys got away from Dimbo Point, a total spot of interest uh, after, well, let's just say they they didn't make the mess, but they fell into the pot of mess. Uh, the lambs that they're currently exploring are total controlled. Uh, they have recently come from the area of land controlled by the tabaxi. Uh, those two groups don't like each other and it shows there was a recent naval battle in which this group found their lost ship because captain uh haggis crapstain hit it as he was told uh but they did find it and they did get the heck out of dodge they have decided last time to go to the capital city of fatar the tortle capital uh okay <laughs> i am all for that uh these guys have set sail they have with them two uh two well what do you call pierre and phineas pains in the asses 
two true heroes in the making. Uh, they also have a tabaxi drug lord named Tony Montana, and they have accumulated a pair of turtles, and I have given them the name of Nick Nick and Bob. <laughs> So uh, this hearty band of adventurers and part-time crew are headed off to the far side of the, shall we say, archipelago uh, to hide their boat and get to Fatar to sell their stolen booty if they can. Good news, gentlemen. Uh, the voyage was easy peasy you guys have certainly come a long way in your ability to steer you have also been able to find a map of the coastline if it ever comes up am i still there yeah i think i'm still there you guys can see me right yep, yep. okay uh and i assume you see the sepia map the uh the interesting thing about Fatar is that it sits on a main waterway that cuts the path across the isthmus. Uh, so it is almost completely surrounded by water on both sides. Uh, you guys had made mention of wanting to hide the boat somewhere. As you can see, there are several inlets here. Uh, let's make it pretty. Uh, so the the lighter colored that's that's a river or streams going in it is indeed estuary kind of thing correct okay. for those of you who have been to alabama i'm sure there are not bugs of unusual size that are going to cause you any issues but as you can see you have three up top and two below uh that may offer some hidden cove uh i will take Survival checks by everybody, please. Seventy-one. Uh, first mate Felix is going to point out that while the closer ones may be quicker to the city, they may also be more akin to, say, snoopers. And since you are in a stolen turtle war vessel, that might be a problem. Did you do, we, do we have a sense of, as we're looking at this and um, going along the coast, a sense that if we put in somewhere that we can take the zonkeys overland to the city? Or are we seeing that there are bridges or um, some sort of vessels that are crossing the estuaries? This map does not show anything of bridges and or villages. So it will be a crap shoot, not a crap stain. Hmm. Or one might even say a gamble. So I, I vote we go at least two, two uh, estuaries away from the city just to be on the safe side if we're going to put in. Okay. You mean go one and go into the second yeah go into the second at a minimum okay. this one yeah yep everybody agree hey so i have a question um if you can go back to the map frank sure if we sail past the city i'm assuming we can sail that distance in a day to oh, yes. the one below where there seems to be more landmass between where we would put in and the city there yeah uh, that seems to be relatively feasible i what do people think i i was thinking in terms of the if we have to try to get if we want to take zonkeys having something that looks like it's more land of course that you have the risk of it all being swamp yeah well we can try it if it's swamp we can always go back but it looks like there are hills or something on this map at least on the one edge yeah. The distance of the openings, are these like real wide? Are they all deep? Or we just don't know? Don't know. Can't tell. You want me to go explore? Because I was looking at that one up at the third. It looks like it opens up into a little bay. Yep, that one right there. 
So, hey, hey, Leaf, the tired old druid. You want to uh, burn off a charge on your old transform into a, I don't know, old yeah. tired shark? I can do that. So which you want me to check the one below first? The, the one that we're talking about going into, uh, you want to make sure it's deep enough to get this boat in and then to, yeah. um, to see what the landing would look like on the, the coast there. Okay, the, so uh, good, the one that's two below. Two below, that one, yep. This one? Nope, well, one. That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I assume the boat is going to be right out here? Uh, yeah, somewhere uh, like no, I, would, I would just come into the very beginning of it. You got going by the uh, 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 the hexagons between the first and second hexagon as you go into the, that estuary. I would I would worry that we're going to catch boat traffic coming out of the uh, along that city's main path would see us. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. So if we go farther south than that, let you cut up along the coast a little more. So that. that large landmass that's below the, the second estuary that we're talking about, yeah, the, where your pointer is, can we go around just the edge of uh, where it, uh, it starts to turn back in? Yeah, maybe a little farther north. And, but isn't that no different than going to the north? I'm just looking at the, land, the, the distance of the landmass between the other one. We can go to the top. Yeah, why don't we go into one at the top and and I can check out all of them is down the way. That's yeah. The blue that arrow. Would, at least in the top where he's got the blue arrow, we could tuck the boat back there right now while the old man is checking everything out. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, do that. I do like that. Because that'll be out of the way of the shipping lane. Like we get dead. camouflage until he gets back. Okay. So we're gonna go blue arrow and hide the boat. Hide the boat while the druid something does some work uh leaf the druid d12 against me please 11 one uh which way do you want to go in above the arrow or below the arrow uh, i'll take a quick well i'll take a quick check above the arrow first to make sure that's deep enough for the boat so they can hide it up in there uh no okay I'll come back out and give them a wiggle. Uh, let them know. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like flip, 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 flip. You want to try the bottom one? I'll try the one right below the blue arrow. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that one's gone. Uh, yeah, you could probably get in there uh, because it is a warship. You won't be able to go too far inland, but you would be able to hide it in some of the weeping willows and other fauna of the area or flora of the area. All right, now I'm going down and check the one with the green check mark. Okay. Uh, it is actually deeper. So you could get deeper in there. I'm going to need two perception checks, one for below the blue arrow and one for the green check, please. Um, below the blue arrow would be 16. Okay. And the other one would be 20, dirty. Okay. Uh, you realize that uh, there's some waterborne creatures that live in this region, but you aren't seeing any of them at this time. Okay. I'm going to uh, head on down to that red X okay. and check the depth in, in there. <laughs> I'm only going in like two or three X. Right. Uh, no. Okay. That's, yeah, that's not going to be a good spot for you. All right. Then I'll head down for the star and the blue question mark. Or the Deepest area that you found so far. <laughs> I'll take perception checks for the red X and the blue question mark. Red X is a natural 20. Mm -hmm. And the blue question mark is a 23. Uh, cracks on the red X, uh, blue question mark, not a lot of fish, and it's kind of murky. The deep enough? or Yeah, it's deep enough, but it's kind of murky. Okay. And X was deep enough or not deep enough? X was... Uh, not deep enough. Not deep enough. Now, just next to the X, mm -hmm. 
that's deep enough, but once you get into the lighter shade, it's yeah. not. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the green question mark was deep enough, mm -hmm. but that's awful close to the city. And the white arrow below the blue arrow was deep enough. Mm -hmm. Green check and blue question mark seems to be your best options or just next to the red X. Okay. All right. I'll go back to ship then. Uh, Captain Copious, D12 against me. Ten. Two. No fishing traffic at this time of day. So oh, far, that's... the rolls are with you. I'll report then to everybody and let them know. Oh, oh that's whales. Never mind. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll turn back. Okay. Hey, Leaf, did you look at, at the shoreline to see if we can unload on the shoreline or not? Uh, up in the blue air, I did not. I checked the depth of the water. The star area, he would have noticed Sorry. that, yeah, you could land there. The right where the, where the, where the uh, star is at. And the blue, it was murky up in there. The water is deep enough, but it's murky. So it still leaves us with the problem of getting across with the uh, zonkeys. What's the what's the approximate distance if we're looking at how long do we think it'll take to cross a, a given hex on the map here? I mean, we've been sailing by it, but how long is it taking to go past? It's about two mile hexes, uh, but depending on the swampiness or the murkiness, uh, just or distance travel is going to be relative it's probably going to be difficult terrain uh but it won't take you more than a day even at the farthest outcropping we can unload at the red x with the zonkeys and move up across that land to get over the city or as far as that goes we could unload go into the green where the green check is unload the zonkeys and stuff and then have have uh, <laughs> yeah, haggis, craft stain, move the uh, ship back somewhere else, and just tell him stay there until I come to get him. All right. So how about this for plan? Uh, and everyone, wait. We haven't seen any ship traffic this time of day so far. No, mm -hmm. strangely enough. All right. So if we unload at the the green check, and we get off, and you know if it's it, 10 miles, 15 miles, we could leave the zonkeys on ship rather than risk them going through the swamp. Um, we tell Haggis to, to back off to either the blue arrow or the star, we pick one, and then at the same time of day that he drops us off, so a day later, come back to the same spot to pick us up, uh, and if not, then we'll, we'll hunt, and then go back to the it's going to take us a day to get back into shore. He just said it'll take you a day to cross over to the city. So no, no, no. Won't, won't take you a day. It'll take you maybe, if it's two miles on difficult terrain, maybe make an hour per hex. But it could take us a day to get this stuff sold. Then again, it could take us a couple of days to get out of jail because that's where we seem to end up quite well, often. But my here, here's why I'm saying if he comes back and checks at the same time of day, each if day. we get into the town and find out we're uh, up up uh, up a creek without a rowboat, mm -hmm. we want to make sure we can catch up to him, and we've got a place we're bolting out of. So, so you want him to come back and check every day? Yeah, I feel like jumping off the boat and screaming Leroy Jenkins and run into the city. I don't get that, but okay. <laughs> I mean, <a> Google it. <laughs> yeah. Say that's past like the '90s. I won't know. I mean, it's, your uncle and your grandfather are planning way too heavy into this. <laughs> a Warcraft thing, Frankie. Mm -hmm. so, so which one do you want to go into? The question mark? The or green the arrow, arrow or green check mark will get off uh, on shore. And where do we want the boat to go? Right back to where we're at now. Camouflage it the way they did before. The blue uh, arrow. Yeah. Okay. Because they can go in, they can go in about one or two hexes into that. Do they even need to, or can they just park it around the cove side? Uh, 
or along the shore is it not deep enough i, I think didn't... if there's willows there they can park the thing up into the hide that'd be okay because i mean if the hexes are you know about a two wow it's it's a it's a pretty big inlet that i'm re looking at yep so he could park it up in there and camouflage i don't think and that way it's close by but <clears throat> tucked out of the way and he can come back every once a day and check it and hopefully not get lost, but we're depending on rolls to make that happen. So here, and you guys are getting dropped off here. Yeah. More or less, yes. Sounds well, I, good. I, I'm going to order Mr. Crapstein to, to set sail and do as we just discussed. Every day at the same time? Do we want a two days for the first go in? Yes. Two days, yeah. Wait two days and then come back. And then every day after. If we get into trouble, we can run back to where we think he's going to be beached, right? Yeah, or I can no, go sure. back and get him. I can always... I, I, don't want always... To, I don't want to be dependent. I like. I believe in redundancy. Why are we taking the zonkey? It's only like six to eight miles. I'm just curious. The zonkeys, why are we taking... As long it? as we can carry everything ourselves, that's fine. Oh, are we able to carry all this crap, or do we need the zonkeys to get through? Uh, actually, we don't need a zonkey. All we need is a big lizard and the guy who rides the lizard. There I don't you go. Think we take a lizard slave, we're going to call him. Phineas is getting thrown under the bus again. Yes, he is, where he belongs. He's talking about the lizard, the freaking yeah, gnome I, rides. Okay. I know. Wait, quiet. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's your plan, plan yes. right? So you guys are coming off with Phineas and the riding lizard packed with as much crap as you can carry. Haggis, uh, the other halfling, Tony Montana, Nick Nick and Bob are staying yes. on the show. And Haggis is yeah. Saying Haggis is going to wait two days before coming back at the same time and then same time every day thereafter. Yes. Uh, I like this plan. Copious, roll the wisdom save for Haggis to see if he can understand time. Uh, what bonus does Haggis have? He's like a 15 wisdom, right? Two, so plus two. Eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got, got this. No problem. <laughs> Good. He's, he's using a sundial underground. <laughs> Fair enough. I, you know what? I love this plan. Uh, I really do. Okay, uh, you guys go in. Uh, you guys can open up the hatch. You're gonna jump in. Uh, if he gets too close to the ground, he's gonna run the risk of beaching <coughs> the ship. Do you want him to stay in the middle of the inlet and have you guys get out? We can, or do you want? We can use a small boat to get to shore. It? That's right. We're gonna use Correct. a small boat to get to shore, right? We're gonna leave him in the. Yeah, we'll we'll ferry across the Mersey. <laughs> okay, and are you gonna ferry across the riding lizard? To shore. Well, I can't, can't that damn thing okay. swim? Yeah, if you wanted to get wet. It gets wet. Oh, Lord. fair enough. Phineas could use uh, the bath. Uh, who wants to roll the okay. D20 for I will. the does. boat? You, you guys are pretty proficient at it. I just want to make sure that there's no horrible mistake. Um, I'm no. Yeah, you guys are fine. Uh, you move across. Uh, Phineas has inquired uh, logically. Are are you are you coming back for me? Because I don't want to get wet. Yeah, we're is he yeah. not in the boat with the rest of us? Well, you want him to steer the lizard, yeah. right? With all right. your shit on. So he he's wanting to know he, he can get it if he can. If, got, if I, rains are long enough. He can get in the boat, <laughs> right over in the boat, and bring the lizard. Well, you'll have to make. Don't two we trips. have two boats? You what have if you get boats? one of these, Nick Nick or Bob, to row the other boat over to shepherd the rest, ferry the rest of our shit over to the shore, including the big lizard, so that all of our shit doesn't slide off into the uh, inlet. 
There, there is a man who is thinking ahead. <laughs> I was gonna dump half your crap. No, 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 no. I saw the wheels turning when you said, "If you don't want it to get wet." <laughs> now, are we taking just the meowy wowie, or are we also taking the trinkets and relics? We're taking all the uh, turtle, all the turtle shit stuff that's no. Except I would say stuff for that has no value ex- outside of Fatar. But let me say something. There are certain turtle relics that are not going to get sold that aren't going with us because I also don't want them confiscated. Yeah, I was going to say that the magic shell, we want to hold on to that until we find a better buyer. Uh, I have a helmet. Uh, There's a couple other magic items. We don't want the magic items going, but all that coinage, hauling that, any non-magic items we have stowed somewhere. Cool. That'll work. Uh Felix, you came up with the idea. Go ahead and see if uh, Nick Nick can go Are ahead and not screw up the armored boat. shell on the boat. I'll. I want to take it just in case. Fine. That leaf is going to tell you that it might not be a good idea. I'll put it in a sack, but just in case we're fighting anybody, the zonkies are with us. It's just so I can put it on. It's Are you it. taking the zonkies? No. No. Okay. Oh, I wasn't listening. Okay, I'll leave it. You're too busy asking. It's just local money. I have local money. I'm wondering because I'm wondering if I can exchange out this turtle coin for some. Hey, actual. leave your shell on the boat. I am. Yeah, Nick Nick uh, has coming. his problem because the riding lizard's a little skittish, uh, for whatever reason. But Nick Nick does manage to land him there. Uh, as you guys all hit terra firma, the riding lizard freaks out. Everybody roll initiative. Uh, 20. Natural. 18. What are we rolling for initiative? Yeah. 15. Oh, 20. Natural. Not unnatural. Dirty. Dirty 20s. Two dirty 20s and natural 20. Uh, I got an 8. So I'm last with a giant crocodile. So... Leaf the Druid, uh, you hear the smacking of a large prehensile tail, and it seems angry. Are we on shore yet? You are on shore. The riding lizard is trying to decide shore or water because it is not thrilled with the giant killer right there. Okay. I'm casting a spell on him. (laughs) Why me? What am I gonna do? Uh, give me a minute to think here. What should I do? Grab the. Ah, oh, I wonder if I can rush the crowd. We all see the the alligator at this point, though. It just means it, okay. It, 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 it comes it. crashing through. Uh, Phineas also notes. Ooh, blue Java. <laughs> God no! More blue. Oh, he found, he found more blue Java. Beef, what are you doing? I'm thinking. Give me a second. Maria himself. I'm gonna grab those bananas and throw. Uh, them. I'm going to grab those bananas and throw them up. The I'm going to go ahead and call up my flame blade and take a swing at the damn thing. Is it close enough for that yet? Oh, yeah. It, it's closing quickly. AC-14 to hit the giant croc. Uh, that would be a... 4, 17. Yep. That would be 5, 10, 14 points of flame damage. Nicely done. Uh, I got three dirty tw- or two dirty 20s. Copious and Manfang. I'm going to cast uh, my shadow armor and summon my blade. That probably is my whole round, I assume. Okay. Yep. Manfang. I'm with my axe. I got nothing better to do. Two strikes. Okay. Swing. Oh, I got two attacks now. So now you can hit two party members. Hey, 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 round. hey. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have a box. Yeah, because you just rolled it on the floor again. Three plus. plus. He's learning. Uh, no, 13 plus 8. 21. Oh, 30, 21. 21. Roll again. And then I rolled. Same one. Roll the no, same I one. Know. I rolled the, you got two attacks. Roll both attacks. Second attack. Sucked. Don't matter. Well, wait. Um, no, it sucked. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. A father's love is eternal. You put it up. <laughs> Way to go, moron. Roll some day. A father's love is infernal. Yes. Awesome. It's like watching Murray okay. Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine on the one hit. Uh, fair enough. Uh, next up is the 18, Robert. I'm casting True Strike on my moron. Are you going to hit him next round? <laughs> and last but not least, Felix. So I'm going to reach into my quiver of arrows and draw the bow back, and I roll the one. You found a curved arrow. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, is it the silver are... one? Is it his curved silver one? <laughs> and his head is the curved it's ones curved are one. silver tipped. Yes. Uh, roll a d6. Uh, you will be five. The writing mount will be six. Keep it on the table. Keep it on the table. It's a three. Uh, that's man fang. <laughs> <laughs> Which should be really easy to hit since he's not wearing his turtle shell. Uh, what's You're the damage awesome. halved? The damage with half is four points. Fair enough. Uh, I cannot get to the riding lizard, so I'm going to go after two, which is one, two, which is Leaf the Druid. Uh, that's going to be a miss. And with my tail strike, I will go after. I do That's what you did. I know. Six. One, two, three, four. Man fang. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to hit you because that's a 23. Uh, the tail strike hits you. Man fang DC 16. Uh, versus strength for me, please. Die 20. Add your strength, correct? Yep. Uh, plus eight. For, is this a saving throw? Or no, no. Plus he, you're plus five, son. All right, cool. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Saving throw strength? Is that what he's doing? It doesn't matter. I, th I rolled a two. Yeah, you suck. That's a ten. Uh, the giant crocodile sweeps the leg, Johnny, and down goes Mad oh. Fang. <laughs> uh, back up to Leaf the Druid for round two. Death rolled. No, no, unfortunately not. He's just getting swept. I wonder if you can tell when it's about to die. Well done, Karate Kid. <laughs> Go ahead, Leaf. You're up. Audio. This way when he drives. I rolled a, I rolled a 20. On the floor does not count. No, I rolled a 20. <laughs> Uh, my damage landed on the floor. Ah, uh, was it a nat twenty or just a twenty? It was a natural twenty. Damage, damage modifier. All right. So twelve. Damage counts twice. Yep, and then you add your modifier. Twenty-three plus one. Uh, so forty-seven, 47 damage. Ah, uh, my uh. One of my unnatural 20s uh, is has to get up off his buttocks, uh, leaving Copious, your turn. Uh, can I sneak around behind this thing? Is it engaged with Leaf since it attacked the uh, Leaf and Man Fang? <laughs> it is engaged. Uh, terrain is going to be a little bit difficult, so give me a dex check uh, to make sure you don't hit a sinkhole. Nope. Seven. Okay. Uh, you can get around behind it next round. Okay. Uh, also, you're going to have to empty the crap out of your boot. Uh, Robert <laughs> of Zeppelin, <laughs> you are up. Uh, so last round was true strike on you. Yep, I fell over. Good one. Now, As he, I, as he was cloud watching. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to attack myself. Why? I don't like Stop myself. hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> was, that, was that called flagellation? You suck at hitting yourself, man. I fumbled hitting myself. So what do you do? You wow. Uh, do a do a D four because uh, Copius is uh, moving around the flank. The alligator. So, uh, that's yourself. <laughs> you have successfully hit yourself for half damage. That's like watching the two Stooges. Yeah, Felix. Uh, Man Fang's just getting up, so you could probably hit him again real easy. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Or you can stop Robert from hitting himself by punching an arrow through his hand and pinning it to his face. 
Ah, that's just throw that, that out is, there. Yeah. They're gonna just... go for the crocodile again. But uh, uh, spoil the sport. Uh, eighteen to hit. So I think that does hit. Oh yeah. Is this a? Can I do a sneak attack on it too? Uh, it's engaged with two others, so I'll give you that. Okay. Cool. Especially since you seem to be on its side, considering your last attack. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Eight plus nine, 17. Uh, very nice. Uh, my bite. Uh, eight. Uh, copious, you've been spotted. Uh, the tail is five. Man thing again. <laughs> I'm going to sweep the leg, Johnny. Uh, copious. I don't think so. Seven plus eight is only a 15. Nope. Man Fang, you get up. Yay. You can sit down because that's a four, 14 plus eight. Give me another strength check to see if you were ready for this one or if you're just going to crap your drawers. <laughs> Good roll, son. Good roll. 17. Uh, this time you do manage to oh. hop, skip, and jump over it. Uh, Leaf, round three. Oh, that, that would have been glorious to put him down on his ass again. <laughs> Audio. 19. Yep. And that's 10 points. Uh, 11, I'm sorry. Uh, very good. Uh, Man Fang and Copious. Man Fang is doing the urban dance <laughs> with the jump rope. Peas and carrots. <laughs> Eight points. Uh, still alive. Man Fang. So what? I roll now? Yes. Or kill it. True strike attack. I cast that on him. I missed. It rolled out of my box. Yeah, but it uh, landed on a 20. Total natural 20. First hit's a 20. Second hit is... You don't have to roll a second hit. I'm assuming you're going to do more than three damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, lops off the head of the opponent, spilling it. Uh, Felix, you d20. I'm going to d12. Hope that you beat me. Otherwise, the riding lizards jumped into the water to get away. 14. Three. The riding lizard has opted not to go into the water. Uh, Nick Nick uh, applauds your valiant efforts at killing it and asks, you going to eat that? Uh, my plan is to skin that. Um, actually, I think that we should let Nick Nick take this thing back to the boat, skin it out, and get that meat preserved. That's right. You don't trust Colonel, Robert's skinning leather, ability? <laughs> leather boots in your future, Robert. Skin that stuff. Like Roll to 19 for skinning. Okay. Yeah, but are we going to sit here long enough to for you to skin that thing? I'm that good. Should this is that? not my first skin job. <laughs> yeah, we hear you've been skinning them back for years. Captain Urban. He's been skinning it since teenage years. <laughs> That's a 13 above rating on this show, right? Yes. This is for mature audiences. Yeah. Frankie, you're only 12. Cover your ears. <laughs> Earmuffs. <laughs> All right. How long is it going to take him to skin this thing? Uh, probably 15 minutes. Uh, we'll All right. Red, 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 red All right. redemption. It only takes you literally a couple seconds. Okay, and we'll send it back to the we'll send it back to the boat. Video games in my time. I think I know how to do this. Nick Nick asks. Food. Yep. Food. 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 He takes a big old chunk out of the tail. <laughs> Tastes like chicken, Nick Nick. Now take it back to the boat. Yep. Uh, he loads it up. Starts steering it out to the boat. Uh, Captain Hoggis and Pierre. Uh, salute you guys goodbye as Phineas Blue Javas Blue Javas are great 
I'm going to eat this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's, he's got one right underneath. Where did he get to know what kind of bloodhound they use on Tortle Island, but they're going to be able to track us everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, you shouldn't take a bloodhound. Uh, it was right there when you guys landed up in the tree. He uh, spotted it like that. You were too busy trying to save lives. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, getting your bearings. Who wants to lead this expedition? Man thing. Diplomat, navigator. He's been guiding and directing everybody. Why don't you take point? No problem. I'm just peering into the brush. That's right, Pathfinder. Find a way. I will take a survival check. Eleven. You think you're headed the right way. There aren't a whole lot of options here. <laughs> Behind you is water. Uh, you head off and you come to a small creek. Uh, a simple leap over this creek should make it easy. So first person up, who wants to jump? Dex I'll, check. Dex check. I'll jump. 19. Easy. He, he floats like, like a, a ballerina, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, who wants to run second? Go ahead. Kerplunk. Nice. Right into the water. Robert starts screaming. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Leech is gone. Uh, 13. It's 10. 13 also. 17. 10 plus 1. 11. Uh, that works out right. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin. A tiny, tiny fish are biting you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, you're up first. If they keep going long enough, they could skin you down to the bone. Thanks, son. How in. wide is this stream? It's one of the murky ones that you found. How wide is it? Oh, two feet, three feet tops. Did you fall in it? Good. How God. did you fall in it? You rolled a two. Damn, <laughs> Good Lord. Can't you just stand up and like come back to the shore? How no, deep it's 25 feet oh, deep, Alex. It's just better <laughs> idea. Why don't you go to the other shore? It's one of those crevices. Yeah, that, hang, um, hang on. I'll throw a lightning bolt out of the water. That'll kill them. <laughs> kill them all. That's it. That's thinking, Leaf. We have to come back this way. Go ahead and kill them all. <laughs> oh, wait. It wasn't finished. <laughs> My bad. I think like to cute the water. Then it'll kill all of them. <laughs> You're up, uh, Robert. I'm trying to get the shore. Uh, that gives me the opportunity to attack. Yes, it does. Uh, 14 plus 5. 19 get you? By two. Four D six. <laughs> I'll be using some murder hobo dice. Oh, you're screwed. They take the soft bits first, Robert. They're taking your PP. Teen hit points of damage by these odd fish in our game. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, make yeah. another dexterity to leap across out of the muck. I need to do a dexterity. Is that what you said? Yep, because it's really mucky here. <laughs> 19. That's natural. Uh, Robert is bleeding from the ankles and calf area, but he manages to grab a handful of grass and drag himself up to Copius, who clearly had no issue with jumping a three-foot stream. What'd you do, Trip? <laughs> did, Who is third to cross? I, just did Robert have a bris? I just want to know. Not yet. Uh, the water wasn't <laughs> deep enough. <laughs> do I have to jump? Can I just? They're, they're waiting for Felix. <laughs> Can I just take one big lunge over top of the? Felix rolls a fourteen to get across easily. Who's oh. next? Roll. Come Can on, Mister Comment. Can I just take one big lunge? Isn't that how we're all doing it? <laughs> Pretty much. Booyah! Nine! He fell in, right? He did not fall in. Ah! Wait, he drug his tail. I don't oh, he does have a tail. Drug that tail. tail with a nine, right? How much of a tail do I have? I got a natural 20. I think I made it. I rolled a six. You actually knock everybody over like bowling pins. <laughs> on purpose <laughs> uh, everybody is all over uh yeah. now robert's lower legs look a lot like copious let me cast some healing on robert then i guess 
He's just gonna start massaging his ankles. Just Hang like... on. That'd be uh, thirteen. How many points of damage do you take? Fourteen. Seventeen. Oh. They got his Achilles heel. I'm also adding what I uh, did to myself earlier in the back. Oh, that's, oh. that's true. Well, I just healed you 13. All right. Back I to- was hoping that uh, you'd let Man Fang massage it because noting his medical skills, you could have died. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this murky water will be fine. Yeah, uh, have a Man Fang put band aids on it and kill him. He was yeah. going to leech him first. That's right. You got to get that bad blood out. So you have now discovered yep. that uh, even these narrow streams are going to cause you dangerous. Grief. Yeah. Uh, but now you have made it across and you are in the thick jungle. You may go uh, any direction that you want. If Copius is leading, I'll take another survival check. I'm going to ask Leaf for uh, him to uh, give some guidance as to which direction since he. he uh, <laughs> Is so in tune with nature. Well, we're going to head for the city. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm, I'm asking you to make the survival check there, Leaf. <laughs> All right, hang on. You know, the I'll guy do a with survival the wisdom. Check. Nineteen. That away. All right, Leaf said it. He set the pace. I'm following Leaf. Yeah, my survival's a plus eight. Yeah, mine's not. <laughs> Uh, Man Fang, give me a dexterity check, please. Oh, I don't. 19. 19. Uh, There's a blue Java banana peel right in front of you that came lofting over the top. As you turn around, (laughs) Phineas will track. Uh, you continue to you continue to move through the interior of the jungle. Uh, see if I can surprise you guys. Uh, somebody give me a D twenty straight up, please. Eighteen. Uh, I do not surprise you. You notice a clearing just ahead uh, with a small campfire. You see three people around it, only they ain't people. Oh, okay. I was about to say, people as in human? Toward the world? Well, they look like really old copiouses, only taller. No? Is this no? Or, I mean, let uh, me uh, hold my hand up and stop everybody. I'm going to turn around and whisper to the group. A bunch of eggs with legs. There's a clearing up ahead. There's three old, <coughs> half or tall gnome-looking characters Half-lines. sitting around a fire. It's Humpty Dumpty. Humpty. Well, I, uh, Manfang can speak language, or uh, Robert can speak languages, just in case we don't speak common. But I say we. I have comprehend language. Yeah, I say we get a couple folks. You know, nothing is makes me feel safer than Felix in the jungle line with an arrow drawn. So. We send, uh, you know, Let's send Felix and Man and Robert up there. Then <laughs> put Robert and uh, Manfang have them go into the clearing to yeah. say hello. Buffers and so, start away. So Robert there. can talk and Manfang can be the diplomat. They exactly. may, we, they may we need value his diplomatic skills on every mission. Sure, I I, I fully support this plan. Uh, is that what you want to do? Yeah, and we'll we'll sit in the jungle. Uh, I'll have a spell. Be prepared to do a spell. Felix, prepared to shoot. And keep the damn lizard <laughs> back. Robert, what do you think? Hey, you guys want to see me do a cool trick? It's up to you, Robert. Ouch. What? You hit my hand. No, I didn't. I didn't touch you. Yeah, let's go. I don't All care. Right. All right. Uh, you break into the clearing, and you notice that there are several boxes partially camouflaged here. The three individuals who you thought were large copiouses are actually turtles, shellless turtles. They're all wrinkly and hairless. <laughs> they turn around, puzzled at the sudden appearance of you two, and, and just look yeah. at you. I want to re- reach out with a little turtle. T- Hello. Hello, love. Hello. 
can we ah, we help just you? saw your wonderful warm campfire. Just thought we'd approach and this announce very... ourselves. Wow. Perception, you perception, man. Fine. Twenty, Nat. I wrote perception. Yes. What's going on? His oh. nat. He rolled a nat three, y'all. Nice. You notice that a fourth has appeared off your left shoulder. Uh, he hasn't entered the clearing. He's tucked himself away behind a tree. Whoa. Gentlemen, gentlemen, why don't you call your friend in? It must be getting cold out there in the dark. Is it, what time is it? I don't know. I'm just suggesting. If they got a campfire going, I'm just... <coughs> they, uh, they look at each other and, and wave the individual in. He comes in holding a bamboo stick. Ah, taking a little walk, were you? No, I was going to shoot you oh, in the back. Oh, wow. You know, I appreciate that. Mm. You know, man. Yeah. Can we that help could you always with something bad? I just like wondering if we could, uh, if you know the direction towards the uh, capital. Yes. Who's asking? We are. We are travelers on our way to the capital. For <clears throat> you know. You notice that their skin is tattooed and Ooh. scarred. Apparently, their shell cut. Are off these of turtle them. drug dealers? I don't know. I can't hear what he's saying. Oh. I know. Noise. It's Wait. a biker gang. They're tattooed and scarred, like their shells were cut off. Turtle and yep. Yakuza, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what happened to their shells. Go ahead, man, Fang. No. Uh, that's a that's a brilliant idea. Hey, lady, how long have you been fat? <laughs> you are the diplomat. <laughs> Good. Hey, you said it. I say go with it, man. Fang, don't back down. You're the diplomat. You said it. Card laid, card played. All right, man. They can't understand me anyways. I hope. Are you sure? That is that Maybe, is maybe not. What if he... So you, you ask him how their shell got cut off? He's talking to you, nuthead. I couldn't hear any sense because you were talking, man. No, I wasn't. He asked if you were asking them if their shell was cut off. No. Are you it's sure? It's just a comedic thing. Your comedic thing. The bit. You don't know, Bart. Hear yourself. Sorry, uh, we are time simple... your dad would have asked him. <laughs> we are simple farmers. Okay. Simple farmers, huh? <laughs> Where's your uh, farming tools? Lost. Lost. <laughs> Where's your farm? How did they get lost? Well... If you look over there, that's where we lost them. Ah, looked over there. Hey, man, Fang, look over there. Okay. Uh, nat twenty on Man Fang. Funk. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a Constitution save. <laughs> I did. Yeah, our wonderful. That is that is a beautiful roll. Is not looking out for our backs. Thanks. Uh, what do I use for Constitution? That's Constitution. <laughs> yeah. Plus one. No. Constitution. Look. Plus your Constitution. Oh, plus well, three. I'm Seventeen. Saving. Jesus. Well, I'm saving. It's right minus here, one. Y'all. Is he Seventeen? saving throws or just off of what his Constitution is? It'll be a saving throw. Okay. Then, um, How is your Constitution negative one? I have no idea because it's plus three here. Can't be a negative one unless he's ill or something. Well, noting this group. <laughs> Intelligence makes sense. Charisma makes sense. Strength makes sense. But you're, it says his dexterity is ne or constitution is negative one. That's what you get when you use automatic. My constitution is 16 and it's a plus three. Well, his constitution is a 16, but under saving throws, it says negative one. Should be plus three. Should be okay. plus three. He rolled a 17. Uh, you are not sleepy yet, uh, but you do have a dart sticking out of your neck. I'm going to pull it out and try and squeeze over there to try and... Let me ask you this. Did we see him get shot with a dart? You sure did, and you, Copius, and Felix all need to roll initiative. Oh, you know what would be cool? I'm going to pull it out and look at him intimidatingly, whoever shot me. Oh, okay. Copius 6. It would be really cool. 19. 14. 
Uh, we will start with Leaf. Leaf, you notice movement. Two forms are moving through the tree line here. They're on the other side of the... Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Four. I, do I get to react to the shot, or do I not notice it? You'll react here in a second. Okay. Are they on the other side of the clearing? No, they are not. They are on your side of the clearing. In front of us, then. Mm -hmm. You hear Phineas go, hey, there's a guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm gonna get love yes, over time. there with the blue job. I'm on. sure. Oh, there. Where they're how close are they to us? About twelve feet. Wow. Right. And you can see <laughs> blow guns. Cone of flame. That's what we need right now. Where's that damn sorcerer at? Where's the dragon reborn? <clears throat> When in doubt, Senator. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, where they're at. How close to each other are they? Uh, they are separated by about five feet each. They have taken up residence behind trees. All right. I'm going to use the gust. Which is what Phineas will be doing later this evening. Uh, sure. What's my save on that one? Um, trying to find it. Oh, I need a fourth. There's one nat 20. There's a 16, an 18, and a one. Feet, 60 Ooh. feet long, 10 feet wide. Night. I'm pretty Thund sure I, I wave. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I saved three of them. Okay. Because my low roll was a 16, and then I had a one. Now, I don't know what the save is on these things. It doesn't say. <clears throat> It should be your wisdom bonus plus what is it eight? My plus wisdom eight bonus plus two plus two plus your wisdom bonus. My wisdom is five. So thirteen plus two or yeah. What's your proficiency right now? Should be plus two, maybe plus three. Well, even if it's plus three, I pass on plus three. three. Of them. Okay, I pass on three of them, fail on one of them. What's the damage? Right. Two die eight. Okay. That's a seven. And that's a five. Twelve points. Twelve, six, six, six. Uh, Felix. The ones that worse did make their saving throws are still pushed. Backwards. That's Ten fine. feet. They can still hit you with their blowguns. So there's two figures kind of off in the jungle with us. Four figures. Oh, okay. And then I there miscounted. were four people in the clearing, right? Yep. There's eight total. Oh, I'm sorry. That spell slot. I should have. Uh, it should have uh, six more points of damage. My bad. Okay. <coughs> so what do you want to do, Felix? I kind of want to try the lips of mockery here. Okay. But I think that that might give away our position in the woods because nobody's seen us yet, right? The, um, four, the four have. The four close to us? Because McFarty over there just blew them off their feet. <laughs> yeah, we just did thunderclap or whatever. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, let's do these lips of mockery and see what happens here. Sure. You are muted there, Leaf, if you're trying to talk. Uh, 13 plus 1 is 14. Do you remember what the save I gave you for the mockery? You said DC 13 versus Wisdom. Yep, I pass. You don't speak their language. <laughs> <laughs> that Do was I need to speak their constant. language? Yep. <laughs> so your mockery falls short. Uh, the one that you did maximum damage to will not get to attack. The other three will shoot at you guys. So on Leaf, nat 20 again. Uh, 10 plus 4, 14 copious. No. 
uh, an 18 plus 422 on Felix. Felix and Leaf, give me con saves, please. That was what this one was, was a con save. I didn't, I finally found it. Okay. Yeah, 20, 18, and 16 are all fine. But the one is definitely. I fine. rolled an 18, I believe it did. You are not asleep, Felix? Eight. Yeah, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, slumps down. Uh, meanwhile, back in the clearing, uh, there is a problem, Robert. Uh, as you notice, uh, somebody looks a lot like Wolf Ferrell out of old school. What would you like to do? I'm doing Thunder Wave. Okay. Going to knock over all their, their farm implements. Yes. Dick. <laughs> Bane of the heretic. Uh, what is it? Roll to cast? Yep. Thunder wave? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just a save, isn't it? I think, I think it is. And then I think it's save or suck, but I think I'm pushed back. <laughs> I know it's 15 foot cube. And then I push him 10 feet. Yeah. So 2 die 8 damage. 5. What level? What level did you cast it at, one? Yeah, it's first level. So Thunder Wave is 2 die 8 thunder damage, push 10 feet. On a save, it's half damage. Okay. Uh, I have a 10, a 5, a 14, and another nat 20 on my rolls. Oh, on a save, it's half damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then those other three guys should have took... Uh... Nine. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, my, it's uh, 11 was the save. Eleven to save or eleven damage. Eleven was the magic number to save. Uh, and what was I rolling on? You rolled two that actually. I don't know. I don't know what's the modifier for me. <sighs> That's it. Just says Dex eleven. Oh, Dex. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Two fail, two succeed. How much damage? Do I roll for each individual person? You can roll at once, and then I'll uh, put them apart. Uh, for the two that got full damage was 12. Okay. So six for the others. And two the half damage was 14. No, half. Of <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I got 14, they get half damage. Gotcha. Uh, Manfang and Robert, give me initiatives, please. All righty. I missed my box. 20. Dirty. Eleven. I saw flip. I just shot you're you're slow, son. Okay, so let's go back into the woods. Uh Leaf Copious, uh your associate has fallen. And he's snoring loudly. Uh is this still the same first round? Or we've started second round? Uh, oh, that's right. You didn't get to go. So you I'm go last, and, and then we'll start the second round. Okay. Yep. I'm just, uh, <clears throat> I forgot my apologies. Text. No, I'm dead last. I, I was waiting for everybody to go. I'm just casting a spell, uh, natural 17 to hit easily. Okay. Uh, it's Eldritch blast. <clears throat> Two beams. All right, Two so, different uh, targets or, um, same target. Okay. And I did 11 points and nine points with two shots. So do you want to go after the one that Leaf pushed back or the one of the three that succeeded? One of the three that succeeded. So add 20 and he is down. Uh, okay. Start of round two. Leaf, you're up. Okay. And um, how close are they to being in a line from where I'm standing? Still five feet distance. This All is right. not their first rodeo. I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Which one do you want to go after? Whichever one is, is closest to the center, because this has got a five-foot wide blast. I want to get as much, many of them as I can in it. You're shooting at number three. Is, is any of our party within five feet of number three? That is a 20. Huh? Uh, the green will be your target and the other one will be the one closest to him, which is five feet. 
Uh, the one you were shooting at absorbed almost all of the damage. The other one uh, managed to shield himself with a tree, taking half damage. Okay. Well, and and this was a, a natural 20, so is that 8 die 6 twice or not? <clears throat> no. Uh, a little I, different? I, I, you know what? Roll 8d6 right. and then roll 8d6 again, and you pick the highest one. I'll give you advantage on damage for that. Shit, I got to write this down. I can't. All this because Man Fang looked away. Yeah, 16. <laughs> 22, 20, and 4. Yeah, they weren't going to attack four. until that whole shell comment, Man Fang. 28 made. points. They must have understood him. He's dead. And then now uh, 14 on the other. Yeah. He's still up. Uh, Felix is down, so. There are two left, so I will shoot at you and Copius. You first. Uh, 12 plus 4 is only a 16. It, it hits me. Okay, con save. Uh, 14 plus 4 is 18, Copius. 16 18 on mine. Hits. Con save on you. I never make these. Oh! Uh, is not natural 19 on the con save. Neither one of you are asleep, but you are starting to look like a porcupine. Uh, back inside the room, or inside the camp, uh, Nat 20, Robert goes first. There's four of them on you. Hey. Are they all in front of me? That You are surrounded. I am surrounded. And that thunder wave doesn't push them back? Uh, it did. Okay. I don't want to go that too much. Well, we're going to do it again. Huh? Oh, is that what I want to do? Yeah, that's what I'll, that's, that's what I'll do. Pass. Fail. Fail. Pass. Uh, one and four pass. Two and three pass. Fail. All right. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, I saw what you said, but I don't know what the hell it meant. <laughs> what? Are you you cast with charisma, Frankie? Thunder waves done with Hard. is. Oh, that's a con. I'm sorry. I told you that. It's a con. I'm sorry. I my rolls are like this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> if they were tighter, it'd make a difference. It says uh, save attack con eleven. No, that's that's not um, that's what Frank is rolling. Uh, the DM is rolling, but for you, to set the DC level. It's based on what you use for your spell casting. Okay. So if you spell okay. cast with charisma, it's your charisma bonus plus your proficiency bonus plus eight to set the DC. It, it says minimum. proficiency bonus is two. I don't know what it's where to look to find. What's your charisma? What's your yeah plus one? So three plus eight, so eleven. And your proficiency bonus should be three if you're level five, though. I would think. No, I might be level five, but my sorcerer is only level one. It's or... based on it's based on your total level, not not. Yeah. Your... Okay. Well, I'm Last level five. So yeah, my my rolls were still two single digits and two high double digits. So okay. I'm I'm fine with it. If it were closer, I'd worry, but. I am this. So 16 points for the ones that did not save. Four. That's 11. We round up or down? Round down. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five for the ones who did not save. Okay, so you killed one of them that time. Uh, they got a three, so man fangs up. Is he, is he up? That's the real question. Uh, he did not fall asleep. Only Felix is taking a nap and screwing the party over. Lazy son of a... 
How long do you think it'll take till I actually like? Do I know? Because if I do, I want to back away before my turn happens. If I do, I want to just follow when when I pass out. Can I like? How long? Forget it. Forget no. Just forget it. Don't Who are you attack. asking if he's gonna fall asleep? Just attack. Just attack something. Attack. Yeah. Soup, man. You hit. Unnatural. <laughs> that's a hit. They're what? Fourteen. Yes. So that's a hit. Roll again. They're shellless turtles. <laughs> Ugh, that's plus eight. No, no. Your second one did not hit. Do your damage for your first one. I take you're attacking the closest one to you. Yeah. Eight plus five. Eight. Thirteen. Mm. Thirteen points of damage to whichever one's closest to him. Very nice. Still alive, though. Uh, two and two. So <sighs> they are still using their blowguns on you. So, Robert, uh, 13 plus four is 17, and 11 plus four is 15. Either uh, those 17 hit. AC. Uh, give me a con save. Oh, also, if you guys have been hit by a blow dart, it's Three points each time. Oh. 18 on my con save. You are not going to sleep, man fang. Nat 20 again. No shit. I could have used those last night and a 10. Uh, so take three hit points and give me a con save. You're plus three on your constitution. Roll we'll die 20. 19. 19. He it. Uh, you're not asleep. Uh, back over to Leaf and Copious. I already went, didn't I? Yeah. Copious, you're up. Kill him, Cope. Uh, two beams going at whoever's still standing, one on each. Okay. And I rolled 20-something to attack, so I assume that hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, 14 points against one and five points against the other. Oh, one is down. The other one is looking peaked. Uh, new round. Uh, we will stay here. Leaf, go ahead. Oh, man. I'm going to go ahead and cast Poison Spray on that one that's left. Whew, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me get my die 12 out here. He only has two hit points. Well, that's eight, and that one's 11. That's 19 points of poison. You have eaten away his face. Good. Uh, and that eliminates my opportunity to attack here, so we will move inside the camp. Uh, Matt 20, Robert. I'm going to swing a sword. <coughs> I fumbled again. Uh, odd you even, man fang. It's me again. Ooh. Maybe we should get you a foam sword. <laughs> that one hurt too, son of a bitch. Six points. Nice. Uh, man fang, oh. you're up. You're getting a lot of help from your associate, by the way. <laughs> I know. Man fang, you're up. <laughs> Uh, only one of yours is down. There are three still up. The one closest to me is down? Uh, no. The one closest to you is really hurt. Just All right, then I'm just going to go for him. Two attacks. So. First attack. First attack. Six right. plus what? Six plus what? Eight. Eight. Fourteen. That's the hit. <clears throat> Do your next swing. No, oh. that's a definite miss. That was a 12. Why can't you hit twice? I give up. I give up. Well, uh, this one only has four hit points. Are you going to do four hit points? Oh, well, I already had a shrink this plus It's five. a good thing you got a bonus because you only rolled a two. Yes. Wow. Uh, there are still two left on you, one on each. Robert? Uh, 14 plus four, 18. Yeah, you hit. Can you? Four no. plus four is eight. I miss Manfang. Take three hit points, Robert, and give me a con save. 18. Plus. Uh, not asleep. How many hit points? You say three? Yeah. Okay. And you've got, what, four of them in you right now? 
Thanks very much. You've got a necklace. Copious, you're up. Uh, there is nobody left here. All right. I'm going to look out into the clearing. Can I see two still standing from where I'm at? You see four people standing, two shellless turtles, and two dipshits hitting each other. <laughs> I'm going to aim for the shellless turtles. Okay. Uh, one beam on each. Are you sure? Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> yeah. I, it's a great idea. Okay. Uh, 24. Yep. All right. Let's, let's, let's make something happen here. Uh, da -da. 14 against one of them and nine against the other. Both are down. I'm going to call out in the clearing. You're welcome. And you hear, thank you. But it's not from them. Uh, also, you can hear Felix snoring. And I need a perception check from you, Copious. Felix is snoring. <laughs> Leave my unconscious body alone. I'm for a tattoo. <laughs> Do anything to me while I'm sleeping. Tattoo some blood bite marks, right? You can say he's, yeah. he has the, the needles are already in him. We just need some ink. There you go. Do a tribal tat. Do I know any gnomish runes of shame that I can tattoo on him? I am certain that you do. You're a dim in black ink could just start hitting with a hammer like they do. In the I can comprehend game. language, so I'm sure I can figure out how to how to write turtle's bitch right across the back of his neck. I think it, it looks like a sideways smiley, but that's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Cyrillic. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're from mature yeah. audience. So, yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to shake Felix awake? Not before I pull his pants down and set a dead turtle on his back. <laughs> I'm going to shake Felix awake before Robert shows up. Tea bag. Tea bag. Uh, Robert, give me a perception check. Seventeen. Where's Phineas? He's somewhere. Did He'll he run fine. off? Where's is he shitting? Hey, does a Phineas shit in the woods? Uh yes. We know that from an earlier episode. Uh there I are where Phineas is. Where's the lizard? Must be with Phineas because it ain't here. Okay. Uh the familiar voice that you heard, thank you. Shouts out to you. How much is your animal worth? Depends on who's asking. Step into the clearing. Uh, is Felix awake? You can kick him awake. <laughs> Might take a couple of strikes. <laughs> I'm going to make sure he's awake before I step into the clearing. He's a How little about... groggy. Uh, Leaf is awake. Uh, all four. All four of you are now outside the clearing but looking into the clearing you do not see the location of the voice all we know is we hear it coming from the clearing yep <clears throat> fuck it i'll step out okay uh there's a momentary pause and a large older muscular turtle no shell steps out in common Greetings, friend. What have you done to my friends? Well, it seems your friends decided to attack us without provocation. Are you going out into the clearing? I'm in the clearing. Okay. So you two are in the clearing. Uh, you are trespassing in our encampment, my friend. May we heal our associates. Mm. I don't care. There's a lot. Heal the dead? They aren't dead. They're just a zero. <laughs> I'm going to say it's. I'm going to. Well, I'm going to, is going to add, it's. It depends. Are they going to come back and start attacking us? Because all we are on our way to the city when this your friends attacked my comrades who were attempting to discuss with them passage through this clearing. I am afraid that there is probably a communication breakdown. For my associates do not speak your language 
funny. Language. I'm going to say I don't think that was a problem in his language. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. Was there any remark about shells? No remark no. about shells. <laughs> None whatsoever. Nope. Well, we mean you no harm, but I must attend to my associates or they shall pass into the netherworld. Do I have your leave to do so? I, I or that, what about the creature that you were talking about? He gives the uh, big Jake head nod and uh, <laughs> they drag Phineas out by the top of his hair. Wow. That creature? Or the what about the creature that was with him? It's safe. Where is that creature? In a safe spot. I'll tell you what. Bring our creature back. We'll be on our way. With your assurances, there will be no more issues, and you can heal your comrades. What's in the bags on your creature? Trade goods for the city. They're full of like us. damn business. We're farmers. <laughs> Felix is a farmer as well. We're lead farmers. <laughs> if you've seen Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Tell you what, my friend, I think we might be in the same farming trade. How about I heal my associates and we come to an amicable agreement? Perhaps maybe we can help you and you may help us. I'm going to confer with my associates away from his hearing for a moment. Sure. I'm going to say no, no deal unless we see the lizard back in the clearing before we finish this discussion. With all the goods. And then I get to heal my people. So I'm going to talk just to Felix and, and Leaf and everyone and just say, what are we thinking here? I, yep. I'm going with these boxes are full of drugs again. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're full of drugs, too. <laughs> I want our lizard back, and I want our stuff back, too. I want to take it to... What you mean? I want my stuff back. Yeah, oh. that's what I mean. I want my stuff back. Why does my butt cheek hurt? <laughs> why, why does it hurt? I don't want to know. I don't want to know what happens. You have a cute little target tattoo on your butt cheek. Bad taste wow. in your mouth and a turtle in your hand. Uh, he will agree to bring out the pack animal and turn it over to you, but uh, tick tock, my friends do not look very well. Are we agreeable to let him? Are we going to hear this guy out or not? If he's returned our, our uh, product, then. Yeah, I'm fine with him doing what he needs to. As we start to push, do we want to do we want to smuggle more drugs into the town or not? Because I think that's where we're going. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn back. My to only the problem is they bring our pack animal back. We let him heal his people, and then they all jump on us. You know what? We just knocked that crap out of all of them in pretty short order. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. Well, but of help. course, uh, allow me to hasten this event. Thousands turtle, show turtle, up. Turtle, 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 turtle. <laughs> There's a I lot. Knew that was coming. Yeah. I, I'm totally nonplus. Copius is pulling on his All right, let's do it. Odd even. Let's do it. Even. Short baby man. Let us sit. Let us talk. My people will heal them. Your people may take your two creatures. Yep, I'll sit down. I'm gonna what, who wants to grab Phineas? <laughs> I'm not grabbing him. I think Robert better grab Phineas. He's the only one that really likes him. Uh, Phineas and the animal, the riding lizard, can be turned over. Uh, the turtles drag off their comrades in. Not all of them will make it. Uh, Copious, I am a Ruba Tuba. I kind of like that name, too. Uh, I am a simple, let's say, farmer. Uh, and you are, yes, you are headed into the city. I am to sell my trade goods. Uh, you are new to the area, are you not? I am newly arrived. You do not want to go to Fatar. Why is that? 
hey, prepare for war against the tabaxi. Oh, I understand. Yeah. We, we ambushed a ship full of tabaxi on our way here and have many goods that they had stolen from the, uh, the Tortle city on their island. I hope they were not my friends. <laughs> no. Do your friends happen to be farmers as well? I am an arms merchant. So I'm going to be leading up the headmaster. So out of character, I just want to point out to our group, not only are we now drug smugglers, we're about to become arms smugglers. The two go hand in hand. All right, Aruba Tuba, arms. And I assume, and where are your arms bound for? Uh, There are tabaxi ships headed this way. Where will they put into port? <sighs> Green check marks. In, 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 inlet, two, two inlets away. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. You didn't think I was going to make it easy on you, no. did you? I actually did do a die roll for it, and I'm like, cool. So that's your plan? Great. <laughs> All right, so I'm, let's go out on limb here, Aruba Tuba. So I have some goods that would be difficult sure. for me to offload in Fatar, especially if they're preparing for war. You have some arms that need to get to some tabaxi. We have both turtle and tabaxi that help crew our ship. So I'm very confident we can make arrangements to transport your arms if the price is right. Deal or no deal? No whammies. Uh, big bucks, big bucks. I think we can be mutually beneficial to each other. He calls over in a uh, shellless turtle, brings over a decanter of wine and several glasses. I will not ask all of your party to come in because you would not. The flagon with the dragon is the brew. That is true. That's it with the pestle is the <laughs> pellet with the poison. You guys watch too many old movies. Because <laughs> I know which one that one is. And Danny K did a great job. Um, so you may call in as many of your party as you want for wine. Uh, Aruba Tuba will start the drinking and to show you that there's no harm in it. It is not filled with Iocane powder. It's all right. I've developed immunity to Iocane powder. Uh, I've just turned to them. Uh, who who wants to say sober? Well, we know Felix does I to sit down and drink regardless, so. So, what are you trying to smuggle into Fatar? Uh, rare antiquities from the um, Tabaxi Island. I commend uh, you. You are truly brave. <laughs> Or foolish, I cannot tell which. Both in equal measure. Uh, where did you come across these items? Uh, out of character to Felix. What was the name of the town? Where we got the Zoom oh, damn it. That we got the uh, Meowie Wow yet, or what? Uh, well, the the uh, lost uh, temple. The Zoomy. Oh, the Zoomy <laughs> ruins. Yeah. So we'll tell him the Nizumi ruins. Then you need to see uh, the man I answer to in order to get those items off the street. His name is Coronado Diego. (laughs) Where would we find Mr. Diego? He is in Fatar. He calls one of his people over and they have, (laughs) they are tattooed. Uh, he has him bend over like a end table and he says we are out here <laughs> what you want to do is you want to get across to the south side and this large building is an inn but it is not what's the name of the inn uh, the end of the slumbering giant Will Mr. Diego see us, or is there something we need to do to um, prove that we've had this discussion? 
He hands you over one of the darts. Be careful, my friend. Do not prick yourself. <laughs> Give that to him and tell him Aruba Tuba sent you. Okay. Will we receive the uh, goods that need smuggled from Mr. Diego or do you have those? He will give you a small package. However, I would not go in during the daylight because you are, uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, Outsiders? Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, outsiders are not really welcome. You will be questioned. You will be stopped. Uh, you may be detained. I'm quite good at moving uh, without being seen. So is my comrade who's guzzling wine. Suit yourself. Because if you would like, you may keep some of your goods here and take only half because that lizard, it, uh, that lizard is going to be problematic. How so? It's, you couldn't hear, but I laughed really loud. <laughs> it's it not funny chuckle. from here. Um, it is a tabaxi mount. That Wait. it is. Wait, how would that work? What? A tabaxi mount? Like, writing? Or I don't like... know. That might be... Are you doing code for sex? Clan of the cave bear? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, like, not as sitting on. Or See, like, there he goes again! You having an earthquake? <laughs> More like a dog that's afraid of its leash running around the house, terrified. Yeah, is Fair there enough? Like a yeah, Aruba Tubal will tell you, you can take your mount. It's a horse. I'm wondering, it's a is it a set? Because it says tabaxi, so I'm wondering if it's the tabaxi or the tabaxi is riding on it, or if it's the tabaxi saddle. You need to explain these things, Dad. Son, we have to have this discussion off camera. <laughs> I just didn't realize we're at that age already. Okay, what do you guys want to do? Is it, uh, so, so the, the thing is, he wants to give us a tabaxi mount while we leave our mount here. Is that one of my understanding? What was the understanding? Then? The riding lizard is a tabaxi mount, and it will pick up undue, att attract undue attention. Uh, I get you. He would suggest that you leave it here. Or we Cause, just... Because clearly, he is trustworthy. Or we just have Felix ride it back to the uh, ship. We can help you get back to your ship. Well, not Felix, but, you know. Don't, so, Phineas. Let's, let's, let's ask a, a couple of questions just in terms of process here. How far from the city are we? Uh, you're about three miles away. Uh, and what's the time of day? Uh, right now, it would be just after noon. So, so plenty of time to get there and wait till dark to go into the, the slumbering giant thing. Yep. Sadly, though, you will have to cross the entire length of the city. That's fine. See sights getting in there. Because you will be coming in from here and you want to get here. Does uh, Aruba Tuba have any suggestions for the easiest way to get to the other side of the city? Do you swim? We, we can, but not necessarily well. And you will have to sneak across the Soul Bridge. It's still uh, blah, 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 blah. If we had one of our compatriots made it to the, the inn with the dart, would um, Coronada Diego, would he come out to meet us with the package outside the city? <laughs> No. <laughs> Don no, Diego my friend. will not. He will not. Okay. All right. So we will we meet Diego or uh, Aruba Tuba back in this clearing tomorrow, and then he can help escort us back to the ship with the package to make sure it gets to the ship okay. He'd be happy to. All right. I'm going to talk with the, everyone here. Off, I'm going to ask Ruba too, but give us a moment. Sounds like we're, we've come to an accord. My friend, take your time. This guy seems like a nice guy. Oh, yeah. yeah He's going to screw us over just sure as shit. 
Hell yeah. Because Frank, Frank's <laughs> impersonating the character. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, copious, if I may interject. Please. Are you going to finish that wine? Nope, it's all yours. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> this is great stuff, you know. High quality. I said my high quality H2O. Would, I you, think would, we you, should... would you like some turkey to go with the wine and the dart? <laughs> <laughs> would you like some the dart print? Put me to sleep pretty well. I don't think I can handle any turkey. Well, we get there. up close to the city with take Phineas and the lizard with us. We get up close. I did say. Hold on. We'll have to wait. Probably going to have to wait till dark to move into the city and through it. Mm -hmm. We can send Phineas said. back at that point in time. He'll never make it, of course. But hey, what the hell? Well. <laughs> Suicide mission. Can we ask Aruba Tuba in terms of uh, if if Don Diego will help us move these antiquities into the city? Where will he want them delivered to? The end of the slumbering giant. He'll want the antiquities there too. So we have to move all the goods all the way into the slumbering giant as well. Yeah. Okay. If some of us move in. See if we can acquire mounts or a wagon from inside the city. Come back out. Load up our stuff. We don't have so much stuff that we can't carry it ourselves. Yeah, I was, was going to say, it's mainly coinage, right? Biggest share of it. Good to see you here, boys. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> those, those are just my spurs. That's right. They jingle, jangle, jingle. I got spurs. That jingle. All right. Do we all agree this is the plan? Yeah. We're going to go to the town, unload the goods, take them into the slumbering giant. Make a deal with Don Diego. Yeah, but we let's be honest about you know this other clown is a, he's a big it's just as much of a crook as Felix is, so we don't want to trust him any farther than we can throw him. Or I meant Phineas. Phineas, I'm sorry, I said Felix. Phineas. I'm comparing it to Felix <laughs> as like as a measurement. Uh, you know, I'm getting the feeling that you don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Shoots me in the ass with a bow every chance he gets. Hey, it's not my fault. Man Fang's been shot more than anybody. Yeah, he has. Hey, to seal the deal, Aruba Tuba, can we tattoo uh, Phineas so he has the right markings? I suppose, what? but he doesn't look like one of us. He could. We're going to shoot that do. sucker. You kind of look like one of us. We could probably tattoo you. Hey, that sounds like a you could, you could be one of uh, one of our drug dealing clan. We are the disheveled. Well, you know, I feel <laughs> disheveled most of the time. You know what? We could shave Phineas, then he'd look like you, and then we could, yeah. Phineas says, "Excuse me, I am not in favor of this plan at all." Just out of curiosity, uh, the tat the tattoos uh, does, uh, can Leaf or, or Robert make a roll to see what the if they understand what the uh, tattoos actually refer to. I'm just curious. You want to? Do you want him to try and figure it out, or you want to ask him? I'll ask him in my politest uh, manner possible. You're fine. Uh, it marks us as smugglers and thieves. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa! <laughs> that is that is how we lost our shell. Three strikes and you lose your shell. As you can tell, I'm about eleven. <laughs> cool. The Russian mobsters now. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. All right. Lost. <laughs> so we've got the plan. Win. <laughs> How many fingers do these things have? They have the webbed hands of four. Oh, okay. But sharp claws. All right. I think we're all in agreement. We're going to go in to see Don Diego, get the package. We'll meet them back in the clearing tomorrow. Um, as soon as, and they'll help us force back to the ship. Fine. If this goes south, it's all on your head. That's fine. What else is new? What are we doing with Phineas? Well, if he's here, he's here. If he's not... <laughs> Phineas would rather not go into town. He's been listening, and uh, this lizard... Uh, if it's going to get me spotted and thrown into uh, a turtle prison, 
I said, I I don't want that. How much how much gear do we have total that we're trying to haul in that the, the pack animal was carrying at this point? I think it was like three thousand of them. Coins, huh? right? Yeah. So fairly Jing- heavy. Jingly, jingly coins. <laughs> we won't get robbed at all. We won't be noticed. Yeah, I'm sure your stealth rolls will be high enough that you will not jingle, jingle, I'm jingle. Silent like the night. Unfortunately, my silence uh, spell just stays in one area. <laughs> it doesn't follow you. <laughs> if you could just have the town move, that would be helpful. That would be awesome. Yep. Hey, can we do that? Does that work? Does somebody have a spell? In the words of uh, every DM, you may try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? I'm fine with leaving Phineas and the Lizard here, but that means we're hauling giant bags of coins across the land. What uh, else do we have besides coins? You really want to leave the coins with uh, your buddy pal, your drinking buddy? We're not leaving anything here. No, he wants to drag Phineas them. and the Lizard. We're taking the them with us. Spoken. I mean, I could carry a good bit. Yeah, I agree. Let's not leave anything here. No. I wasn't saying leave Everything goes here, with us. Other than the Lizard and the Gnome. I'm going to be 299. You want to trust all that to that gnome? We'll never see him again. There's yeah. nothing. You want to take everything but the gnome and the writing list? Yeah. The lucky charm. No, I think we need to take them too to get close to the city at least. We're, we're two miles. My problem with leaving Phineas here, he would sell us out in a heartbeat, including selling the damn ship out. Someone has trust well, issues. <laughs> we'll come back. We won't even have a freaking ship because he'll tell them when the thing's going to dock looking for us. Well, we Not should a be good back idea. There be- we should be back there before that time. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to leave Phineas, I'm going to cut his damn throat before we go. So yeah, we can't talk good. to anybody. Well, That's it. all. That's it right there. Okay, the problem is the lizard. The closer we get to the city, they've pointed out to us that the lizard's not native to this island. It's clearly tabaxi. They're at a war footing with the tabaxi, and we're going to show up with a lizard that they're going to recognize. We're not going to show up with it. We'll get within about a half mile of the city. We leave it. Stay in the jungle, and then we just leave the lizard. Leave Phineas and the lizard. That worked for us so well so far. Well, I'm telling you, you don't want to leave him here. If you... If, you do, he's going to screw us. What if we camouflage the lizard and brought it into the city with us? Make it look like a horse. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a good idea. Better yet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another drink there, please. Hey, we could paint stripes on it and tell him it's a zonkey. Oh, we could paint stuff. Let's paint spots on it and tell him it's a cow, too. Let's paint it pink and white and call it a unicorn. Everyone knows unicorns aren't real. Yeah. Let's glue a horn to its forehead. Hmm. Call the, we'll call it a rhino. So the old man's thought is we get it as close as we can without it being spotted. Yes. Leave, the, leave the gnome and the lizard in the jungle so we're not hauling the shit all the way to the city and then we carry it that last bit of, to the city. So that way he's not left there because he guarantees that he's going to sell us out. And he's threatened right now if we don't do it then he's killing he's killing the damn gnome before we leave. That's about it. And Phineas overheard all this conversation, right? Yep. Yes. What's his response? I, I, I feel abused. Uh, I don't feel like I'm loved. I feel, I feel like I've been used... You hit yourself all the time. Don't worry, Phineas. I keep my blade sharp. You'll not feel a thing. He will, however, offer to go ahead and help disguise the mount. All right. Yes. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It's a zonky. <laughs> it's a pazonky. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'm Fine. Disguise the mount. Let's go. What sorry son of a bitch did that? That's what I want to know. A Google dog that looks like zebra, and you oh find a lot of hate. Oh, for oh God, people are just sick. You know, it's better uh, though than putting a dress on the damn thing. That is true. Uh, I know that there's a, uh, and I cannot think of the breed, uh, but they come in three different kinds: giant poodle, uh, poodle zebras. Uh, 
Mm. Wow. Uh, okay, so that's your plan. You're going to disguise the riding lizard like something else, get to the edge of town, leave the disguised lizard, enter town with Phineas, jingling with somewhat 3,000 coins and a bunch of other shit, cross through town, which happens to be oh, I don't know, preparing for war, and get to the end of the slumbering giant where you can meet an underworld figure who is going to give you a package. That's to your plan. I bet you this is going to be like a bomb. What could go wrong? I cannot see anything wrong with this plan. <laughs> I, I think this plan is awesome. Uh, I'm glad that there is only one bridge across Fatar. Well, guys, let me just say this. Is there no our, place to exchange the coins while we go in or anywhere? Are we going in that late at night? Because wasn't that the whole point of dragging this shit all the way in here? Regardless if we deal with the freaking package or not, the whole point was to take this shit to this town to do an exchange because it's the best place to do it. I give two shits about Don Diego. <coughs> I got voted down on going anywhere else is because you guys wanted to come here and exchange this stuff. I don't want to do anything else before I do that. Screw everything else till I exchange my money. Aruba Tuba says, "Excuse me, my new friends. <laughs> you seem to you seem to have a lot of stuff. Would you like some of my associates to help you ferry it in?" Nope. I think we're fine. Uh, I would, as you happy, wish. <laughs> I'd be happy to have them ferry it in. Uh, I I, hold on, I'll, I'll cut Leaf off right now and go, they're going to screw us. <laughs> you betcha. They have no shell. You know what, Copious, your lazy ass can carry a bag in like the rest of us. I just oh, want to point out, we are foreigners in a foreign land with stolen grave goods <laughs> trying to sell it. We and have a we, wait, 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 stop. By no criminals who've been deshelled for her doing the same damn thing. Yeah. They're the perfect good. people to work with on this. Not in the it's, city that took their shells, dumbass. They're not going to let them come back in, you ignorance. Frank, you enjoy bringing this fighting <laughs> out <of the> family. <laughs> All right, here's our other choice. Oh. Here's our other choice right now. Other only other choice. We turn around, go back up, and wait on Haggis to come back, load this shit up, and head for the mainland. No, we've gone this far already. Right? Let's just get that. That's the other choice. We're not going to go to Cat City because they're going to be in the same boat. They're getting ready to fight these fools. And we're showing up in their boat. What's yeah. the coin? The coinage we're sitting on. What's the base metal on the coinage we're sitting on? Gold. It could be melt melted. Down. That, we can melt that down, sell it anywhere. So, so we take it up and back. go back to the mainland. But I said that a long time ago. The, the gold can be melted down and resold. The artifacts you aren't going to get top dollar unless you go All to right. Fatar. Right. So the artifacts have no value. So there's no point in hauling the artifacts back to the ship if we're cutting cutting bait here. Yeah, the, the artifacts hold no value to anyone other than Tortle, to which they hold a very great value. No, Tuba Ruba. <laughs> Aruba Tuba. Do you want to make some trade for these artifacts? Oh, I do not have the cash necessary to go ahead and make a reasonable trade with my friends, unless you take some spears for them. <laughs> spirits? Like some more of that spears. one? Not spirits. 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 I, 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 might have a, I might have a case or two of the wine. I really lubricate the wheels here. Felix is like, yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> So let's get back to it. What's everybody want to do? Well, my my point at this, you know, is it worth dealing with the freaking... We have more in coin than we do in artifacts. Are the artifacts worth taking in to sell, or... I don't freaking know. Give me a wisdom we, check. We've been sitting here. Oh, I can give you a wisdom check. Yeah, Leaf, make the wisdom check. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? My wisdom is 20. Uh, the artifacts are going to be far more valuable than the gold, and the gold can be melted down. 
<clears throat> Why we don't came we came all this way? Let's just do it. <laughs> all right, let's do it then. Hey, maybe you get I'm, some I'm nice fine. lodging with the with the coin. Yeah, I heard prisons on uh, Turtle Island are really <laughs> nice this time of year. Let's you, know, you get deshelled. Uh, I'm already deshelled. Yeah. No, you get a brisk. So no, already do you, brisk. Do you want to leave the gold? And oh hell no! Oh no. hell no! Oh no! That was never on the table. Do you want to send the gold back? No, no, it's going with us. We're all going in. Original plan. We're going in. We're selling shit. We're picking up packages, and then we're heading the hell off this island. Okay. A holy hand Before grenade. I start eating tea soup. You I know, agree with all that except guys, for the package. And let still... me talk to our group without uh, the turtles over here. And you know, all we got to go on at this point is what his word is as to the reception we're going to get. That is very true. It is true. We still you have know, to get to the city, and we have to send somebody in who can speak turtle because we need do. somebody to go in with an artifact that speaks turtle and see what they can do. Oh. And how the, what what kind of reception they get? Ah, 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 ah. All right, let's go. Sure, sounds like a plan. Winks and Robert and Felix in to negotiate with. There you go. The drunker he gets, the more he sounds like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. ah! So you guys head to the edge of town. Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, who wants to do twelve against me? Robert does. He's the one going in. Come on, Robert. I have not rolled well. Come on, go, go. Robert. You suck. You what was tried. it? Three. Reroll. Damn. You suck. Hey, one by one. Yay. Yay. You suck. Yay. There is a kind of sunken farmhouse. Looks like uh, the water came in a little bit too much, uh, flooded it out, and the residents have left. Uh, looks deserted. Could be a base of operations for everybody else while you and Felix wander on into town. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Uh, so what are you taking? Take an artifact. Something that's small, easy to port, and won't grab, bring too much attention. How about the 20 bags of gold you got? Um, or I want to take a handful of coins, too. Well, of course I'm taking coin. Sure. <laughs> uh, I got to grease a palm. Uh just outside of the uh, deserted farmhouse is a well-traveled road. Uh, do you want to take that into the dead center of town? Yes, like a peacock. Awesome. You guys uh, enter into town at dusk. Uh, there's not a large amount of people here. Uh, it will take you right into the main plaza area. Uh, since you are unfamiliar with this area, you may head down to the dock region, over here, or over there. Uh, I'm going to head to the plaza. Very good. Uh, you have made it just in time for the changing of the guard. Of course we did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are several portals milling about. Giving you the sideways glance. Each of you give me a survival check, please. Twelve. Five. They don't like Felix. We don't like him. Felix, he says you have a very sexy forehead. Yeah, yes. I, I grew it myself. <laughs> Uh, Robert, do you have your comprehend languages? Yes, I do. Go! <laughs> Furriner! Fur <laughs> yeah, they must really like my forehead. What are they saying? A whole bunch of them are coming over to see it. Oh, cool. My good friend. Two bits of gander. We're just traveling tradesmen here to... Trade and sell, buy goods. Uh, the guards surround you and are armed with spears. Uh, the guard commander, a sergeant, 
We'll speak with Robert. Where are your papers? <laughs> I'm going How to... How does it feel now? Shut up! <laughs> hey, I've it. Let me try. <laughs> I'm going to extend exactly my... Po- Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> you're grounded. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to oh, extend you're... my hand, palming a gold coin, saying, Why, sir? My papers are... <laughs> I have my paper handshake right here. We have just got into port, looking to buy and trade goods. Persuasion. These are not the furners you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Star, this guard commander likes his coin. The next guard comes up. Papers. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many guards are there? 19 more. <laughs> huh? yeah. 20 total. <laughs> ah, okay. So that was the captain. These are what? These are grunts. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll look back at the captain. <laughs> oh, sir. Uh, I, I think they missed, and I'll reach my hand out to him, that I gave you all the papers that they need with my hand to him. Uh. I'm not letting go yet. Do we understand? No, we do not. Oh, uh, and he plucks it out of your hand. <laughs> okay, I, I'll, I'll throw some. I'll throw a couple more gold on the ground behind me. Nineteen of them. No. You're gonna have friends. <laughs> I ain't got nineteen gold. Papers. I already gave out my papers. They look at Felix. <laughs> my mother what? <laughs> I'm just going to keep like showing really off my forehead. And, yeah. A commander comes over and the others snap to attention. Uh, Robert, you can understand what he's saying. He wants to know from the sergeant, what the hell is going on here? Why are these foreigners here? This is a sergeant. Um, okay. My good sir, as I informed your sergeant there, we're just here to buy and sell goods. <laughs> we just got in. We're just looking to do a little business. Nothing more, nothing less. You're a little late in the day, my friend. What are you selling? <laughs> Please say stolen antiquities. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, shit. I got to think. Uh, Robert, we're, what are they asking right us? Now we're looking into, I have a friend back off the ways who's into fine spirits. He's looking to get his brand into your sit, fine city. Do you have any samples? I do not. I came in first to look and <laughs> taste and try out some of the... Oh, do you carry some? I have something that we can use as a sample, but I I assume that I, you're translating what he's saying to me. Yeah, Felix won't know anything about what you're saying. Right. I was going to say, <laughs> we're looking to sample some of the uh, local brew to see what <clears throat> he's before he is willing to come in with his goods. So... You are not selling anything right now. Ah, not right now. But I was not so lying. We are going to buy you, and sell. You will not have any goods on you. No, I will not have any of our spirits on us. Persuasion. God, please be a 20. Oh, that's not 20, but that's close enough. 17. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. They don't understand why you're shining your forehead at them. Uh, <laughs> so when is your friend coming into town? Not until after we return. With samples of some of the local brew here. Well, it's awfully late. Might I suggest you stay in this inn right here for the evening? Uh-huh. That way you are safe from any vagrants, ruffians, beggars, or smugglers. Smugglers? Vagrants? We have a smuggling problem, as you, I'm certainly 
well know, uh, we were about to go to war. And he points over to the bay. Uh, there are about four more of those Torto warships. Ah, I have heard from some of the uh, local areas as we've stopped to replenish our supplies. They said war was brewing. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get you a room for the night. And then in the morning, when it is safe, you can go out and bring your friend in with his brew. Sergeant, ah, please find gentlemen over to the end. Without some of the local samples. Persuade me. I already did this persuasion. I know, and you keep sucking at it. It's going to make you do that till you fail. 22. <laughs> do you need to see my paper, sir? Oh, God, you're going to try it. You're really? Always. What's his problem with his forehead? He's just admiring the glistening glow of authority that reigns from your brow, sir. He's weird. He got hit a lot as a child. He ate paint chips. His father kid. struck him several times. He ate paint chips as a kid. Sergeant, escort these fine gentlemen to one of the taverns. Ah, uh, thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Sir, tavern. He walks away without taking your papers, uh, and the sergeant and two of his associates beckon you to go into the tavern. Enter we shall. Are they staying out at the door? <laughs> They'll stay outside. They don't want to uh, harsh the atmosphere. Well, the sergeant's been paid. I will leave one coin per the other two guards. and Make them fight over it? <laughs> one coin each. And say thank you for your escort. Manfang, Leaf, and Copious, it is getting really late. What would you like to do? No, uh, I'm going to, we might as well figure on they're not going to come back tonight and get watches set up. I'll take the first one. Who's taking second? How far, how, how far from the town are we? You are on the general outskirts, so you would be right about here under the A. But we can't see the, the – is the city walled or is it open? city is open. It's very old. It almost looks like Nazumi without the uh, walls, uh, and it – doesn't quite look tortoise. It's almost like they uh, mm. uh, culturally appropriated something else. Mm. From the tabaxi, maybe? No, it doesn't look like uh, cats. Uh, these are all rounded. Think Planet of the Apes. <laughs> uh -oh. Great. Um, I don't know. There's part of me that uh, Copious wants to. Sneak closer to the city just to see what's going on, and then I, I stealth uh, as it gets dark to to uh, take advantage of the night and, and stealth my way, stealthily make my way closer to the town and see what the how busy the town is at night. Sure, give me a stealth check. Yeah, twenty six. Uh, not a whole lot of movement in the streets. It's like uh, they rolled up the uh, sidewalks. I want to move. Copius is going to move into town and okay. try to go towards where the bridge is and see what what the action is like and whether or not uh, if if he feels like he can cross without being seen, he will and try to make his way to the slumber giant. Sure. Uh, as you enter uh, the main section, you notice that the bridge is a covered bridge. It is a ginormous turtle shell that seems to be perched upon uh, the gap that the river runs through. Uh, oh. As you get close enough, you can see the bay where there are four warships and the other bay on the other side of the Isthmus. This is a very narrow strip of land uh, with more warships. Looks like the turtles are going to do some shit. Wow. Okay. As we, you we want to get out of this area in a hurry. Do you want to cross the bridge? I do. Uh, if I, yeah, are there people moving back and forth, or is it pretty abandoned at night? Guards only. Uh, if I can move along the outside of it, so I don't have to go through the middle where the guards are, I will. 
Um, you can wait, or you you can try and cross the river. Uh, there's it's a moderate movement on the waves. I'll try to cross the river. Give me a survival check. That always goes well for me. No. no. <laughs> Swept into the bay. <laughs> I didn't fumble, but it was seven. Yeah, you, you get swept into the bay. Fortunately, you land in a net. Oh, uh, good. Two turtle guards notice it and look at you and said, somebody's throwing away a baby. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it, it's dark. You're shellless and you're hairless. Uh, you can hear I, them, but I don't understand turtles. So yeah, you can't tell what they're saying, but they're kind of poking their spears towards you. You said guards, not uh, fishermen or anything. Nope. Uh, can I try to swim? Uh, yeah, you can try and climb out of the net. I mean, the net protects the actual river between the two, so that no uh, no more submarines get in. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna try to use the net to pull myself to the opposite bank. Got a yellow submarine. It's like you net. you hear them yelling. Oh, that's that's encouraging. Uh, I'll still I'll try to get out, get to the other bank, and get out or dive. Um, dive, dive. <laughs> so you are trapped in the net here do you want to go high oh. or low low okay uh d12 against me uh then i'll tell you which side the goons are at five oh. come on eight uh they are on the north side great if i can get out on the south side i'm going to get out and start moving uh, as quick as I can away from the, the bank of the river, try to get into shadows. Sure. So now there will be a known assassin somewhere in the town. I'm sure that will be the story that goes back everywhere. <laughs> so give me a dexterity check to make sure that you can successfully navigate. Uh, 12. Easily done. You get out and you notice that this area here is submerged. And as you speed across it, you're leaving footprints. Awesome. So I, if I know I'm not leaving footprints, I'm not going to head towards the slumbering giant. I'm going to go um, try to curve out until I get out of the, the soft area, the submerged area. Once I'm up on dry land, then I'll try to make my way south again and, and try to do it stealthily. Hey, give me another stealth roll. Natural 20. Easy peasy, baby. You reach the end of the slumbering giant. Uh, is the door open or, or do I have to knock to get someone's attention? It's not locked. Well, uh, uh, does it appear people are in there and moving about or is it silent? It appears as though it's a business of some kind. Okay. I'll, I'll open the door. Uh, the door screeches open loudly uh, and it looks like your standard inn built for turtles. Uh, and you see above you trying to figure out who's in before spotting you. They look down. I, Kobe, hey, hey, little guy. Just put, Did you lose your mommy? <laughs> he doesn't understand anything. I'm going to speak in common. Does anyone here speak common? That's one. I speak common. I said, uh, I'm going to ask for uh, Don Coronado Diego. I've been sent by Aruba Tuba. I hear there's uh, some work that needs to be done. The individual who replied that they can speak common comes out of the shadow and looks very mage-like. And he goes, hmm, seeing the smugglers, I see. What are you doing? I'm going to ask if we can speak somewhere privately. These people don't understand common. Fair enough. I'm going to say my colleagues and I have a ship off uh, offshore. And we met with Aruba Tuba. He indicated that there may be a package that needs a particular type of delivery. Mm. I'm here for the package and to make an agreement as to what the payment will be. <laughs> so you've diarrhea the entire plan out to this total stranger is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. 
D12 against me. Ten. I think I can help you. Uh, and your name is? My name? Mm -hmm. My name's not really important. But if you need to call me a name, call me Tim. All right, mighty Tim. Can you take your one horn and find Don Diego for me? I know where Don is. Let me uh, let me ask you, uh, what kind of goods do you have for sale? Oh, fine spirits. I don't think the Don would be interested in fine spirits. I think you have something maybe a little bit more eclectic, perhaps? Maybe... Oh. Not for a reasonable show? Well, it just so happens in my many travels selling my fine spirits that occasionally we make trade with other folks and they give us interesting and eclectic goods of a rare nature. Do you have any with you? Uh, I, I do just a small one. I would be interested. Oh, oh, and and again, what would the nature of your uh, interest be? I am uh, in the import export business. Really? Really? Oh, now, <clears throat> just out of curiosity, I, again, uh, my my good friend, Mighty Tim. And where would you sell your goods? I have. Close friends and associates. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Once I speak with Don Diego, we can make arrangements and you can come visit our ship and I will show you our many fine goods. I can, I can arrange that. Uh, do you need a room for the night? Uh, that would be lovely, but I must be going. So if you have uh, Don Diego is nearby, let's speak with Don Diego. It is late. I don't think the Don would uh, be interested in talking with somebody this late. Well, fair enough. Uh, then I will make my way back out of the city. Thank you for your, your time. Please be careful. There are many dangers out there. Yes, I've seen more than a few. Very good. Uh, I, if he's not going to further, I'm going to go back out and immediately duck into shadows again and watch the building. Give me a stealth check. Ooh, 14. Uh, you see this individual step out. Smoking a pipe. Smoking a pipe. Not a care in the world. All right. I'm going to watch for a while until he goes back in or starts to walk away. Uh, he goes back in. How long would you like to wait? Well, give it an hour or so. I mean, I don't a shadow know. Shadow appears ten minutes later. A shadow and ducks, appears. And ducks into the building. Uh, Tortle shadow, I assume, or can't really tell. You also hear the sounds of laughter and intoxication. I'll sit there and wait for a little while longer. There's How long two... did it take me to get down the here from from the hut down? About an hour. Okay. Because you're being stealthy. Uh, it's two idiots that you're quite familiar with, uh, and they have a trio of guards with them who also seem to have been drinking. <laughs> okay. Great. You recognize Robert of Zeppelin and Felix, the last sane were rat hunter. Uh, they appear to be quite trashed, uh, but the guards are leading them right to the end. Perfect. I'm going to st stay outside for a little while, but they, Robert and Felix seem like they were not in trouble in it, of any kind, right? Seems like they found new friends. Perfect. Uh, Robert, Felix, uh, you asked, they led you here. They don't really agree with the accommodation choice, but uh, since it's so late, yeah. Any port in a storm. They tell you you can sleep uh, sleep here. Not a big deal. How are you guys staying here? Nope. nope. 
we got to uh, we got to get back. Oh, it's too bad. We got another drink. Uh, Felix and Robert, give me constitution checks to see how drunk you are. Woo! Plus 21. Uh, 18. Uh, Robert is way trashed. Yeah. Felix is trashed. You guys walk in, uh, and there's a tortle lady there. Uh, speaking tortle, how long did your comprehend languages last? I don't like know. An hour. Tactical. Yep, it's about an hour. You don't understand a word she's saying. I don't know what you're saying. Drunk. You're freaking beautiful. Here, I'll speak the language of love. Snatches it and gives you a key. Room three. Have the, have the guards left Rio? the inn? Rio? Yes. Menage the guards leave the inn. I'm going to go back in the inn. Fair enough. Uh, you see these two jack wagons trying to get up the stairs. <laughs> I believe that'd be pronounced Menage de Torto. Yeah, baby. Don't be shellfish. <laughs> We're going to make turtle soup sandwich. You've got a lot to explain to your son tonight. <laughs> uh, copious, you can remain stealthy and follow them up as they try and navigate the stairs. They are trashed and it will not be very useful in a fight. Nope. I'm just going to follow behind the two idiots that got trashed on a reconnaissance mission. Uh, Robert, you're holding the key. Better now. Give give me that key check dexterity to see if you can get it in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Woo! Twelve. Puts his fist right through the door. Ah, I told you I could do this. <laughs> door <laughs> swings open, and there is a single bed. Woo. And it's curved because you know for turtles. All right, rolling into first me. half, Felix, I spoon you. <laughs> and then if we wake up, you spoon me. Okay. You hear the door <laughs> shut behind you. <laughs> hey, hey, Copious, are you sure you want to go in there? <laughs> I, I Is there a chair in the room to sit on? Yes. Or I'll, barricade the door, either I'll way. Take the chair, barricade the door. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm a good several feet away because I'm pretty sure you can get contact sexually transmitted diseases with the two of them spooning at this point. Well, Felix is heavily perspiring. Yeah, contact chlamydia or something. <laughs> going on that time, so. the booze. He tastes like salt, fee cat. <laughs> uh, you watch and they quickly pass out. Uh, you smell pretty. Sitting in the chair, it's going to be a rough night for you, and you're going to get a little cramping, a little muscle ache, uh, and it's not going to be good for you. But, right, once, uh, if they're asleep, is there a pillow on the bed? My <laughs> hands between two pillows. Those are pillows. So, no, that's so it's Felix's, but he's using two hands between his pillows. <laughs> I'm gonna, once they're asleep, I'm taking the pillow off the bed. I'm three feet long. That's pretty much a mattress for my guy. There you go. Uh, Leaf, where the hell's your replacement? <laughs> Didn't show up. Uh, well, you're going to... Just you and me, and, me and Manfang and Phineas. Yeah, El Phineas has uh, got a little gas from all those blue yeah, jobs. Phineas <laughs> can forget about him anyways. I couldn't sleep with that son of a bitch watch. So he's, I'll take, I'll sounds... take the first watch, however many hours it has to be. It'll be a uh, four, so you guys right. have to split it. Man Fang, uh, are you going to wake up for the second one? Four. There you go. Uh, boys that and girls, is... ran a little bit long, but I think this is a good stopping point as uh, Robert and Felix are experiencing uh, their own. Whatever it is, no judgment. No judgment here. Uh, let's just say... Uh, Room Twa at uh, In Du Jour. Uh, Going to be a lot of memory. Hey, what happens in Fartar stays in Fartar. 
Rocky oh. Horror Picture Show right at the moment. That's right. Folks. Little Frank, <laughs> take this as a lesson and why not to drink. Agreed. You make a lot of mistakes when you get drunk. Yes. Folks, uh, thanks for watching. We hope you had a good time. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit on Discord, we can do that. If you want to buy our crap for Christmas, we can do that. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat on one of the Saturday one shots this month or this coming month, uh, M Hobo Inc twitter or gmail hit us up we'll get you in one of those don't forget a uh, week from today at 3 p.m eastern standard time how to rpg with your cat by oddfishgames.com for all of us here at murder hobo inc thanks for joining us uh, producer take us home <laughs>